What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I'm going to show you five different ways to use markers in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. And the first way we can use markers is to label. Now you have two different kind of markers. You have clip markers and you have timeline markers. And what I want to do here is I want you guys to open up the markers panel. And if you can't see it, go to Window, Markers. And I moved it right over here to the left side of my timeline to make it easy to see here. So let's go over how to label a few things. As you can see, I already have a few markers here with labels on them. So let's take a look here. Now, one of the things, I work with a lot of other editors and I share my project with a lot of other editors and I found it to be quite annoying when a project gets passed on to me from another editor and I don't know what the heck is going on with the project. So a quick way to utilize these labels is to, you know, make descriptions and titles and make make things every uh, make things a little bit more visually clean. You can quickly see what's going on. And even if you're not working with other editors, this this can really help yourself if you come back to a project later that you were editing a while ago or you know, you've know you stepped away from something for a while, you can come back and quickly use these labels to see what the heck is going on. So we have a few samples here. Let's go ahead and open one up and see what's going on. You can see here I wrote uh, a name for the marker and then I wrote in a, a couple of comments here and I gave it a color and a duration so we can see it here. Now you can quickly see it and the comment right here on the display. Now let me show you, these are clip markers. Let me add a couple of actual timeline markers. To add a timeline or sequence marker, I just make sure that no clips are selected and I'll select M and added the marker. I'll select M again to launch the marker dialog box. Let's just call this finalize. So this is for instance, either to tell ourselves or another editor that we're passing along that this part of our sequence is done, approved, and select OK. And so let's say that these it's these first three clips. These are all approved. So grab the end of our marker, and there we go. Now let's zoom in here. Now let's say that these three clips in between here still need some editing. So I'm going to add another marker, and say, um, let's say, uh, edit, remove second clip, and we'll make this marker red, select OK, and then we'll add a third marker, this one will be finalized. So as you can see, it's a quick way to visualize things on the on the sequence or on clips, even on clips. Let me show you another example. We could use we could use markers on this audio clip to quickly show different parts of the audio clip. So if we were editing to the audio, like a, a certain mood, we could add, let's say, let's listen to this audio clip. And if you hear the beginning of it, it's kind of slow. And then in the middle, it starts to speed up. And then it has a stinger here at the end. So let's add the three quick markers. Now I'm gonna add clip marker, so I'm gonna make sure I have my clip selected here. Hit M, M. I'm gonna add a quick marker here. We could just say slow. So we know that's the slow section of the song. Let's see if we can grab it here. No, you don't wanna grab it there. And we can add, you can actually add them up here in the source monitor too, but we'll keep adding them here. On. We can say this is the fast part of the song. And we'll add a last one over here, MM, and we'll this will be red and we'll call this stinger so we know that that's where our title or stinger title is going to go. And now what's cool is you can quickly see what's going on down here and even if I go here and I minimize all these tracks, check that out. You can quickly see if we were editing to the 
the video here, you can quickly see, okay, this is our slow section, this is our fast section, this is our stinger. Okay, so that's labeling. Now let's go over to our second tip here, which is navigate with markers. Okay, so if you look, this is where our markers panel comes into play. So to quickly now, you can see on this, on this timeline here, we have all of our markers here, a couple of clip markers. And if you go over here to the markers panel and select a marker, it's gonna automatically snap to those markers, which can be very helpful. And you can see a display out here, you can see all the, the these are audio markers, the color schemes, the names and the comments. So even if you hit the up and down arrow keys, so I'm hitting down here, it's jumping between all of these. Or if I go up, you can see on the timeline, it's jumping between all of these. So that's a quick way to navigate and this you what you're looking at here is it's not this is like a 20 second promo where this navigate isn't that important here but if you're working on say like a two hour edit this can really really start to come and you know can be very handy to navigate a huge project very fast okay our third tip is sort and filter again if we're working on some kind of crazy three hour project or something that's really, really in depth when you're using a lot of markers, you can sort and filter. So if you look over here, you have, I have these, all these different colored markers. Now, if you look over here, you can see the colored markers here, but you can also see these color blocks here. Now, if we click on one of these, it gives us a check mark and it basically filters out all the others. So if we do this, we can keep selecting or adding and taking away which this can be very helpful. Let's say you're working on a huge, big project and you added, uh, let's say you're trying to go through a huge long interview and you you're play back the interview on your timeline and you're adding markers at um, all the good takes or all the certain, you know, you're adding a blue marker to each good sound bite and then you're adding a red marker to every time the person says something about another topic. And then you could quickly filter out and then utilize these to snap exactly to that location. So very, very handy for a pretty in-depth project. The fourth tip is synchronize. Now you can use synchronize to, let's say this is an interview I shot uh, with a DSLR, recorded the audio separate. So now let's go ahead and, and they're not, this is not synchronized right now. So let's have a listen. Industry, my own art and my art, you know, the art feed. See, it's way off. And at the end here, we had them clap so now we're going to add markers to the visual. He clapped a bunch. So we're going to just look at the last clap here. You can see right here. So I'm going to add a marker on our video right at the clap hit. Select the clip M. Now I've got a marker there. Now I'll zoom back out. If you look down here on the waveform, you can see the claps. So let's add a marker right on that last clap hit. Rough, rough it in there. And then I can highlight these two, right or control click, go to synchronize. And then you can see clip marker right here. And then select OK. And it snapped them right in. Let's see if this is correct now. Creation and, and making art. And there it is. And then the other component. And you can use this not only for syncing up dialogue, but look, I have another example here. Well, what I want to do here is, actually, let me get rid of these audio markers. They're kind of blocking. Let's see. I'll go up here and select this marker, clear all markers. Okay, that takes all these clip markers off. So now what I want to do, synchronize over here, is I want to have the audio hit right when this handsome devil jumps off the hood of his car. So he's jumping off the car and right as the feet hit, I want a, a certain beat to hit. So I'm gonna select the video file here, right on the landing, put a marker. Now I know the beat I want it to hit. Let's see. Right there. Okay, so let's zoom in on that hit on the waveform and Add a marker right there. Whoops, I got the wrong clip selected. Let's get the audio selected. Select M. Then I'll select the two. Synchronize. You don't even need to really synchronize. You can, I'm, in fact, I'm not going to synchronize. You can, if you have snaps selected, um, you can just drag it. 
and it'll snap together. Now let's see if we got the audio sync. Oof, no. Oh, okay, that's the wrong beat here. Okay, so that's synchronized. Now for the last one, is kind of similar. The fifth tip is edit to the beat. Okay, so we have a music track here, and let's get rid of this um, marker that we just put in. Clear all markers. Okay, so what we wanna do here is we wanna add a bunch of markers to this audio track so that we can, as we did before, we can snap video clips to certain beats. Now all I'm gonna do is just basically play this, this short audio or music track back and add markers to it on the fly. So let's let's uh, go ahead and have a listen. So all you, you can do this on the fly by, again, pressing the M key as you have your clip selected and it's playing back. So I'm gonna select the music track and then as I play it back, I'm gonna count in beats of, let's do four. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna count out loud. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. Okay, so now we have all these markers. Now I could quickly, if I wanted to just quickly add clips that are gonna, the in and out points are gonna be right on these beats. We could skip one if we want. Actually, no, let's, uh... now as you can see, I'm quickly making an edit. Now let's play back these three clips. You'll see the edits are right on the beats. You can see that's, and that, that's a quick way to just knock out a quick edit where your video is on the beat. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.